As soon as I landed, I could feel something was not right in my ankle. Kind of done it enough now to have, the, have that feeling for your body. I wasn't too sure how bad it would be, but I knew with you know three weeks until actually having to be at X Games riding, um, there was enough damage there that at that point in time I knew it probably had thrown it out the window. When the doctors told me it was broken, and uh, they didn't only tell me it was broken, they told me it was broken quite bad. So um, yeah, it was a kind of a big uh, roller coaster of emotions there for the next couple of days just kind of trying to wrap my head around um, what I'd obviously done to my leg and what I'm going to have to go through for the next six months to come out back on top and um, also where I, where, I was, where I was and where I was feeling on my bike and, and um, just leading up to X Games which is obviously the biggest event of my year and I've um, been focusing on it for so long and so that kind of be taken away from me is quite tough. I was feeling really good about my riding, it had been like a, a real hard push this year but I finally was on top of it and, and felt confident I felt like I had a good chance at the next couple comps for the year so um, that's always tough and it, like I said it's really hard to wrap your head around that but being a professional athlete um, you're riding a pretty crazy emotional roller coaster at all times um, but especially with injuries uh, obviously you know you're going from highs, you know, winning the, the biggest events or, or, or just achieving, you know, these milestones along the way to just having it all ripped from underneath and, and crashing, you know, back down to the bottom to start again. And it's it's tough because you, you're in that, at that point in time where you feel you, you're doing good and you're ready to take that next step forward in the sport and then you get kicked back for, you know, three to six months and all of a sudden you're six months behind the game and you're going to catch up and then try to get ahead again like you were so it's pretty hard to wrap your head around but um it's one of those things you just can't change it it's something you know i just accept every time i throw my leg over my bike that that day something could happen and i think um, you kind of got to have that attitude in the sport if you if you don't it's not going to go so well for you so just got to have that respect for it and just accept that um anything can happen I'll be making a plan on, on how to approach this the best and um, how to make the best recovery I can to kind of get back as, as strong as I can as soon as I can without rushing things. So that's kind of exciting and then also it's going to give me a good chance to kind of figure out you know what I want to do and, and my next step within the sport um, and also just it'll get me, give me a good chance to catch up with things in the workshop do some more work on my bike uh, without the pressure of riding on the side and, and um, try and progress that side of things in the sport as well as the actual riding. Yeah, this is, um, this is a cool thing. It's something I've known about for a little while, as, of course, as they were um, designing and producing it at the headquarters, but it's something I didn't really think much of at the time like pretty much everything I come across but um, once it actually out there you see it on the shelves your friends sending your snapchats are all of it and you're just getting the feedback of you know how awesome that is and you kind of realize the actual enormity of it all but it's, um, it's pretty cool that I've come from riding a bike when I was four years old hoping that that was gonna be my dream job to my mug's now sitting on a Red Bull can <laughs> because of what I've achieved on a bike, so it's pretty cool. Right now I'm in the position of the person that I looked up to when I was younger. Um, and that's quite good in a sense because I can put myself in the kids' shoes and that does help, you know, when they come along at the events or I see them on the streets or, or you know, at, at the track or wherever it is, um, you know, I get a chance to talk to these kids. And uh, for me, it, it, it seems odd because I'm just, I'm just myself, and I don't really see much, you know, different of it than anyone else. And I just ride dirt bikes for a living. That, that's the that's the only difference. But I can understand, you know, being in those kids' shoes and, and um, being able to look up to me. So I think um, that that really helps in in um, kind of just giving them the time of day and and, and trying to guide them. Uh, in the right way, you know, as little or as much as I can. 
we've gone past the point of adrenaline and what I have in, in, in the sport and, and what I do riding bikes. Um, when I go out there, I'm calm as I am now. Um, heart rate probably doesn't spike. And it's just what I do. It's, I get up every day and I either try and work on my bike, I, I work on, on the ramps or I go and ride my bike. And it's something I can uh, use to push myself past where I ever thought I'd really be. People do say, you know, is, is, it, is it time to, to wrap it up or, you know, you're going to keep pushing it as much as you do. Every injury, you always get back to, you know, some stage of it within the injury. You, you just can't wait to get back on your bike, whether you're riding for fun or, or competing or whatever part of it that gives you that thrill. Um, for me, as soon as I crash, it, it just kind of, it, the thought passes through your head, but I just watch it and it comes and goes. And um, it had already gone away before I'd even got off the ground and into my dad's car and on our way to the hospital in town. So I'd go insane if I didn't have dirt bikes in my life. It's been the one constant thing in my life. It's enjoyment obviously, but it's, I'm not sure what it is. It's, um, it's a saying I can't get rid of. You know, I, <clears throat> I've definitely accepted that no matter what happens, it's worth everything that I've gone through to actually just throw my leg over a bike and ride.